Good Wednesday morning in Northern Michigan. Dr. Jen Klebundy with Northway Animal Hospital in studio for another edition of Pet Talk this morning. Dr. Klebundy, is always so great to have you. Thank you. Good morning. And I think this is a topic that a lot of us can relate to, especially if you have a cat, and that's the litter box. It's that dreaded task of cleaning it. You have to do it. You have to do it. We yeah. all have one. But it's yeah. not really a favorite part of the day. Right. You love your cats, but that's probably the most dreaded part of having the cats. It is. But what becomes even more dreaded, Melissa, is when they start going outside of the litter box. Oh, yes. So by having a few simple tips, um, you're going to prevent that from happening or at least really cut down on the incidence of it. Because okay. that is a true problem that we see every single day. Now, say you have one, two cats, maybe three. What does that mean when it comes to the litter box? Does each cat need a box? Technically, each cat should have their own really? box. Now, if any of your cats are going outside of the litter box, yeah. you should have the number of cats, um, the number of cats plus one. So if you Whoa. had four cats, which I know that you don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you should have it between four to five litter boxes. Oh my goodness. And it, it really sounds like a lot, but cats often guard the litter box. So they'll claim one as their own okay. and then stand guard and prevent other cats from using it and that's when you get accidents outside of the litter box. So for you, it would be two litter boxes. You'd have to double up. Not for me, for my two cats. Yes, yeah. right now, I have to say <laughs> Just pointing it out, I do have the two cats. Now, okay, so I just use the one. I have one right. litter box for two right. cats. It seems to work. But where should you place them? Is that another big deal? You know, and it, it depends on how you've raised your cat. Okay. So if you've raised them to, to travel down steps for their yeah. one litter box, that's great. That works for you. But but these are tips where if you're having problems, they're, they're kind of ways that you can try to eliminate the issues. Okay. But in terms of where you should place it, this depends on if it's a little kitten or if it's oh, an older right. arthritic cat or if you have one of each. Um, you know, most cats, when they're younger, they're fine to have one in the basement, and that's where, sure, you know, sure. I like to stick mine all way, way off where people can't see it. Right. Um, but as my cat gets older, I'm going to need to move that to the main mm -hmm. level of the house so that she doesn't have to climb up and down steps in order to get there. And, you know, they're going to be using this several times a day, so making it convenient for them right. and attractive to them to use it exactly. is going to help you in the long run. They are picky, picky animals. They can be. They really can yeah. be. And, and so um, the main way that cats act out is by going outside of the litter box. If okay. they're upset about anything, life in general, their food, um, anything, yes. where the litter box is right. placed, they're going to go outside of the litter box. So these are just helpful tips. Okay. We'll go over more of them in the next segment. We're going to go over more. Dr. Klebunny is going to stay with us. Brody is going to come up in a few minutes on Brody O'Connell, talk more about some of my tips for all of you cat owners out there and the litter boxes. So stay with us. Uh, taking a look now at Weather Watchers, here's Storm Team Meteorologist Joe Charlevoix. Good morning. Time for our second installment of Pet Talk. Jen, good morning once again. Good morning. Now, yesterday I had the glorious luxury of cleaning out my litter boxes at home. We're talking about <laughs> kitty litter. It's something you have to do as a cat owner. Um, one of those things that you kind of can't avoid, but we're talking about ways that you should properly be doing it. And if you're a cat owner at home, you know it's just kind of part of loving your little friend, but right. uh, how often should you be cleaning out your litter boxes? Well, this depends on how frequently um, it's being used. So if you have one cat versus three cats, um, you're going to need to clean it out more often. But as a general rule, the box itself with the stool and the urine should be cleaned out every day. Okay. And then the whole thing should be scrubbed about once a week. 